guys have been wanting to see me train for longer. I usually just cut these videos down pretty short so it's less long for you guys. But if you want to see me train longer, here you go. This is just my warm up with Shikai Zengetsu. Helps me stretch the muscles and get ready for, well, you know, the Dragon Slayer. Oh. Find it's nice to switch hands every so often. Get both sides. I can train for a lot longer with Shikai Zengetsu than I can with the Dragon Slayer. A 40 pound sword doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when it comes to swinging it around, it's ridiculous. So Shikai Zengetsu is really, really nice for warming up. And then when it comes to the Dragon Slayer, I can probably swing it for around 10 minutes before I completely fatigue entirely. So that's what we're gonna get here today. All right, feeling pretty good. I think we're gonna move on to the Dragon Slayer and, you know, swing it around a bit. Whew. So my goal with the Dragon Slayer is to train with it until I hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you wanna see me not train with this, subscribe. I realize a few of you want me to suffer for long periods of time so you're not subscribing. I understand that, but please subscribe. I don't really want to do this for 100 days, but if I have to, well, I got 75 days into training with Shikai Zengetsu, so you guys know how dedicated I am to this. That being said, let's get into warming up with this thing. Well, I guess not warming up anymore, actually training. Oh. Let's give it a shot. We're gonna try swinging. Uh, we're gonna try spinning the blade, not swinging it. Oh. Nope. But we got it back up. That wasn't really a spin. That was more of a swoop. Not what I'm looking for. Oh. Dang. That's just incredibly difficult, and I don't know how I managed to do it on day seven. There's something I'm missing with the form. All right, let's just, like, I'm not, this is why I cut things out, is because it's a lot of a struggle, a lot of a struggle, it's a, a huge struggle trying to figure out how to swing this thing, and that's why I cut these videos shorter, but let's just keep going, switching hands, and try and uh, leverage this thing up. Oh. Oh. Switch your hands again. Oh, okay. All right. Now, how do I swing this thing? That's been my challenge for the past 10 days. We're on day 11 now, so hopefully we're gonna see some more progress. How did I spin this last time? I need to rewatch the video. I managed to do it and now it's like eluding me, the whole practice of it. Okay. On the shoulder. Just like that. There's something wrong. I think I'm lacking strength. Ugh. Okay, we're just gonna keep working at it. I need to build up the strength of the lifting behind my back. So let's keep going with it. Oh. Let's switch arms, switching sides. I don't know why, 
side, but my right side seems a lot smoother than my left. I'm okay with that. All right, left side again. How did I do this? Man, it's that leverage. Getting it onto my shoulder and then popping it up takes a little bit out of you. All right. Oh, it got caught on the ground there. If you're enjoying my struggle, consider subscribing. This massive sword is just ridiculous. But this is only day 11, and I'm gonna go until I master it. Or please, at least until I hit 10,000 subscribers. All right. Whoa. took a lot. Oh man, that was pretty good actually. Let's do it again. oxygen in the brain but thank you so much for watching god bless and i hope to see you on day 12 Whew. this was fun <sighs> one more time God bless.